Today's topic is carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a painful progressive condition that occurs due to the compression or squeezing of the median nerve as it passes through the wrist at the carpal tunnel. The carpal tunnel is a narrow passageway on the palm side of your wrist and is where the median nerve is located. The median nerve makes it possible for your thumb, index, long finger, and part of the ring finger to be able to feel. This condition can occur in one or both of your hands. The condition affects both men and women. However, it is more common in women because the carpal tunnel is smaller in women than in men. It usually begins in adulthood between the ages of 45 and 64 years. If the pressure on the median nerve continues and gets worse, it can lead to nerve damage and may worsen symptoms. Causes Carpal tunnel syndrome happens due to an inflammation or swelling in the carpal tunnel. Anything that irritates the median nerve in the carpal tunnel space may cause carpal tunnel syndrome. A combination of risk factors can contribute to the development of carpal tunnel syndrome. These risk factors may not directly cause the condition. They may increase your chance of developing or aggravating the condition. These may include fracture or trauma to the wrist, diabetes, an inflammatory condition such as rheumatoid arthritis, obesity, fluid retention that is common during pregnancy and menopause, thyroid dysfunction, prolonged exposure to vibrating tools, repetitive flexing of the wrist such as when playing the piano or typing, symptoms, numbness and tingling in your wrist or hand, weakness in the muscles of your hand, pain and burning that travels through the arm, diagnosis, Early diagnosis and treatment may be important as the median nerve can be severely damaged and can lead to permanent numbness and permanent weakness. To make a diagnosis, your doctor may question you and carry out one or more of the following tests to see if you have the condition. Your doctor will carry out a physical examination. This may include a thorough assessment of your hand, wrist, and shoulder. The doctor will test your fingers and the strength of your muscles in your hand. He will look at your wrist for a sign of swelling. An x-ray of the affected wrist may be recommended to exclude other causes such as fracture or arthritis. Nerve conduction studies are diagnostic tests that can measure electrical impulses. If the electrical impulse in your carpal tunnel is slower than normal, you have the syndrome. Treatment. Treatment depends on how chronic your symptoms are and if there is muscle weakness. An early diagnosis may be treated by a non-surgical method, which may help improve your condition. These may include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for pain relief, corticosteroids injection into your carpal tunnel to reduce inflammation, wrist splinting. These splints hold your hand in a neutral position while you sleep at night. Treatment of any underlying condition. If your symptoms are severe and or don't respond to other treatment, surgery may be recommended. The aim of surgery is to relieve pressure by cutting the tissue pressing on the median nerve. Surgery may be endoscopic surgery or an open surgery. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.